My takeaway is more about who lost rather than who won during this episode. You could argue the big winners of this episode will we'll discuss further, but it's like Lucas Matson, obviously, right? The deal goes through Tom Wamsgans as a CEO. You could argue, I would argue Kendall, I'm not, excuse me, um, Roman in a way, not Kendall, holy shit. Um, no, Roman in a way kind of won at the end of this. Um, but I think my, everything comes back to Kendall. Like we've talked about it time and time again, and him being the final shot of this series, I thought, it was spectacular. It needed to go back to him. And it, after the, the wins that he had throughout this season, we're like, oh, my God, is he going to be able to do it? Is he going to be able to pull this deal off? And he has the votes. His siblings are back again like the end of season three. But we should have known right from then and there, like the end of season three, when the siblings come together, who comes out to break it all up? Tom. Season four, who comes it up to bring, break it all up again? Tom alongside the new Logan Roy, Lucas Matson. But uh, I just found the Jeremy Strong aspect, it was so devastating. And his performance was so devastating. I rewatched that boardroom scene where they move away from the meeting. Shiv goes into the private room. And then Kendall just losing it. And I saw so many parallels to him becoming his father, right? it dripped through the blood dripped through the poison dripped through like Kendall was saying earlier this season, everything rides on Jeremy strong. I thought he was spectacular this episode. And despite what happens with Tom and that bold decision, that's my takeaway is that this show will ride on the legacy of Jeremy strong. And he has entered that pantheon of actors alongside a James Gandolfini as Tony Soprano and uh, Brian Cranston as Walter white as one of the greatest antiheroes we've ever seen. I think he's in there. I have a question for you because I, I was, you know, looking at the Discord on social media, and I think I, I think I'm in the unpop, I'm in the, uh, what's it called? Not the popular camp. Minority. The minority. Thank you. Do you think Jeremy Strong, every time you see him in a movie, the rest of his life, or whatever it is, he's always going to be Kendall Roy to you? I got to see him do more stuff before I make that decision. Like I think like. He like he's if he can pull this off like Gandolfini is still always just like like he even through his filmography you always point back to Tony Soprano like uh, right. Brian Cranston he's been nominated for an Oscar but people would always not associate with him with Dalton Trumbo they would associate him with Walter White I think Jeremy Strong can put together an amazing career and I think he will to be honest I just don't think. Everything will still circle back to this, but not because it's going to haunt him, but more like we have to look back at how amazing this guy's peak was because it's going to be hard to top. Yeah, I guess I, I don't think so. I'm not going to look at him as Kendall Roy, I think. I, I think it's different with the characters that you just laid out or like a Jon Snow, Kit Harrington, where those characters are like larger than life characters. And like, sure, like this guy's a billionaire, but like we see him like at such tragic moments that we don't see other people. And I don't know. I just there's a sense of realism with the character that I just think that it's just another character that he like, yeah he was amazing, but he, when he goes on to the rest of his career, his talent is so like the potential is there for an Oscar winning like mo mo not just one multiple Oscars potential for Jeremy Strong that I feel like just by the end of the day like we're gonna not forget obviously well he this will always be it is like mount rushmore or top billing of roles but i don't know i just feel like yeah this would just be a like the the turning point in his career or like the get the get off right and i i think it's gonna be hard to just he put seems like he put everything everything into this character but i think he puts everything into every character he plays just by the method but, but acting the, but I would, I would yeah i would say that but at the same time like i don't know many of his other stuff and like he's done some more eccentric stuff he's done like the gentleman i think about uh I, like and the other thing i would say he's associated with is the big short you know like it's not mm. like he has a bunch of movies you could just call out by name that's because he's been doing He's put his life into succession as Kendall Roy. And I think it's paid off. It's gonna go, it's going down as one of the greatest HBO characters of all time. Um, he, did you I I listened to an interview with Jeremy Strong following this finale? And do you know mm -hmm. what he's doing next for a project? No. Doing a play on Broadway. Smart. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Very smart. Get away from get away from like the limelight for a little bit. Maybe hone the acting skills even more so, play a different type of character, and then like let's see him like in a prestigious type of film. I need to see him do something that has depth on the big screen rather than just a small.
Yeah, and I, I would just also say, I don't know, like, I think a character where I will always look at for the role in this is Logan Roy, Brian Cox. I think that type of character, you're always, you, every time you look at Brian Cox, you think of Logan Roy for the rest of his life. And yes, he's older, but I think he's been in a lot, a lot, a lot of other stuff and he's been great in a lot of other stuff. But this is what he's doing. This is his pinnacle role. And he's later in his career. And I think with Kendall Roy, yeah, sure, this might be his pinnacle role, but he's so young and he's like just getting started in Hollywood. Like you said, he's not in a lot of stuff yet because this is what he's been focusing on. This what got is like the true breakout for him. I think that we have a lot of runway here where we'll always have this to look back to as like the legitimacy factor of it. But then he has a, a long career ahead of him. Yeah, I can't get Kendall out of my head. I'd like to look at that scene with Shiv and Roman when he screams, I'm the eldest boy. I am the eldest boy. And then like the spit is spewing out of him in the full enragement that he's displaying. I was watching with our friend Mark and I was just like, holy crap, he's becoming Logan. I literally said that out loud just like, unconsciously i just it just it just came out of him because like, he is you know and there were scenes here dude he was it was seems like he was channeling michael corleone in godfather 2 Where, a lot of references to Cor the godfather here like he's holding godfather his two. brother you know fredo and michael and type of moment and then uh the, the the rage and like the the physicality like him actually hitting his family members i was just like oh my god it's just like where michael snaps and he's losing control that's what jeremy strong did there and um so volatile i just i i, I couldn't stop rewinding it because the, i'm like this is like the there's so many like moments you can call back to with jeremy strong there but i think that was the moment in the finale where i was just like man like this is like do or die for him right now he wants